Hey, I'm Haslin. I am on the content team at Bulletproof and I tried red light therapy. So the team at Juve was nice enough to let me use one of their Juve infrared lights. So it's a test. I've been getting my red light on twice a day in 14 minute increments, once in the morning and once at night. And I've been documenting my sessions with a video or a picture just to see if I can see any marked changes along the way. So when I got the light, I reached out to Justin over at Juve to sort of explain how it all works and why all of this matters. My name is Justin Strand. I'm one of the co-founders of Juve. One of the main benefits of the Juve light is it gives you a way to get a significant dosage of red and near infrared light and add that to your daily regimen. Because uh, in America, we spend roughly 93% of our lifetime indoors and separated from natural light, our bodies are essentially starving for these wavelengths of light. And by adding this application of light to our daily routine, we're able to help uh, increase our overall health in a, in a number of different ways. Basically, modern life is filled with damaging blue light from our cell phones, from the lights in our office, the LEDs in our cubicles, from just not getting out and being outside and experiencing light, and they're damaging our cells as well. But red light therapy can counter that. Really, when it comes down to who should use red light therapy, it's pretty much anyone that, that cares about their health for people that are interested in the beauty benefits, such as the increase increased collagen production for, for skin health or whether it's professional athletes that are looking for to maximize their performance and reduce their recovery times, reduce muscle pain and soreness. We have customers that are elderly uh, folks that are trying to increase their overall energy, improve their quality of sleep, and then we have folks that are in their 20s that are males that are trying to improve their testosterone production, for example. The basic crux of red light is that if you are alive, your cells need ATP, and if you're stressed out or you're sick, maybe you're exposed to a bunch of junk light, your cells produce something called nitric oxide, which binds to CCO and halts the production of ATP synthase. That's a problem for your cells. But red light and near-infrared light can actually break the bond of nitric oxide to CCO, and it allows the oxygen to bind to NADH and restores the pathways to produce ATP synthase. Uh, natural sunlight has a wide range of wavelengths. So you have wavelengths uh, shorter than 400 nanometers that would fall into the UV spectrum. And then you have visible light between approximately 400 to 700 nanometers. So basically the, the colors of the rainbow. And then near infrared uh, from approximately 700 to 1300 nanometers. And then you have mid and far that extend from 1300 to 3000 and then from 3000 on up uh, to one micron. And these wavelengths all have different biological impacts. UV light, for example, there are specific wavelengths that are beneficial for vitamin D production. The visible light spectrum, obviously, if we didn't have that, it'd be difficult to get around during the day. Whereas UV light in the mid 800 range has been demonstrated by the scientific research in the field of photobiomodulation to have a unique impact on cellular function, as has red in the mid 600 nanometer wavelength range. So after about 20 days of red lighting twice a day, I can tell you that I started getting compliments on my skin, which is really random, but we work remotely at Bulletproof, and so I just had calls, Skype calls, where people would see my face and would be asking, like, what are you doing? Things are looking a little different. Your skin looks so bright. I also felt like when the autumn came into the Pacific Northwest and things started to get really gray, I wasn't quite as affected maybe by it as I would have been at the end of summer. And I can tell you that nothing else in this time changed except the red light. The rest of my life was the same. I still have two crazy kids. I still don't get enough sleep. I still work too much. I still could probably have a slightly better diet. I still drink wine on occasion. By helping to restore healthy cellular function, increasing ATP production, that's why we get these whole host of benefits. So everything from reducing joint pain and inflammation, reducing the time required for muscle recovery, boosting virtually every type of cellular function that the tissues of our body. Overall, if you have access to a red light or a red light sauna, or you have the money to buy a red light, I would 100% recommend it. If you'd like to learn more about the science behind red light therapy, why it works, how it works, and how it might apply to you, be sure to listen to the Bulletproof Radio podcast with Justin Strahan from Juve, and also visit blog.bulletproof.com where we have a ton of articles and videos with our CEO Dave Asprey talking specifically about red light therapy. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Bulletproof on YouTube today.